you. Let's speak to our correspondent, Sue Turton, who's there. What's the latest, Sue? Yes, Nick, I just actually caught up with uh, Senator McCain as he was coming from our hotel and uh, asked him basically what he was doing here. He said he'd come to meet members of the Transitional National Council and members of the military to assess what the situation on the ground was. Of course, this is not the first time he's been to Libya. It's the first time he's been to Benghazi, because the first time he came was to Tripoli, when he met with Muammar Gaddafi 18 months ago uh, to talk about matters of state. But he also, I also asked him whether he had any concern about the sorts of people that were joining the opposition forces here to fight against Gaddafi forces. There have been other members of the Armed Services Committee and other senators who have expressed concerns that possibly extremists, possibly even Al-Qaeda, were fighting alongside these uh, anti-government forces. His reaction to my question, why would I have concerns? They're my heroes. Uh, what about uh, this uh, news of drones being used? Apparently they're already flying. Yes, yeah, so far we hear they're only flying. Um, more of a, a, a sort of reconnaissance mission going on in the sky. Apparently they can fly a lot lower, so they hopefully can find out a little bit more detail as to where Gaddafi is putting his armory, where his troops are. Hopefully maybe be able to tell the difference between what is an anti-government fighter and what is a, a Gaddafi fighter, because we've had problems of them blowing up some of the anti-government forces here. Of course, we know that Senator McCain is probably the most hawkish of members of the Armed Services Committee, and he will have no problem with bringing in more military hardware. We do know, though, he does draw the line of not want to bring in ground troops from the U.S. here. But the drone at the moment is just another part of the arsenal here to try and help the anti-government forces in their push at westwards. So, so what, these two th events combined, something's changing here, isn't it? U.S. no longer taking a back seat. They were for, uh, for a spell. Uh, now drones being deployed, McCain here. Is this a sign of growing frustration about the lack of progress in Libya? I think there's definitely a, a, a real growing frustration, as you call it. We do know that uh, uh, Hillary Clinton, the Secretary of State, is saying almost a shopping list of the things that they want to provide here if they get approval to help the anti-government forces on the ground. That's anything from extra uniforms to boots for the troops to helping, again, trying to get more communication equipment. We see all the time a lack of communication equipment at the front line. Some of the time they're still using people to run back and forwards from the front line to, to deliver messages rather than using the new radios that they have because they are still very few and far between. So I think the, the US effort still is very much to try and back the anti-government forces and not to do anything any more um, military-wise with their own forces. All right, so thanks very much. That's the very latest from Benghazi. Thanks a lot.